Up next on The Handy Guys, we're going to talk about what to do with those old rusty tools. We're going to restore them, Paul. All right, so don't throw them away. Keep them, and we'll show you what to do with them. Hey, Brian, do you see this old tri-square I have? Yeah, yeah. This thing must be about 50 years old, I think. It and looks in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's in pretty good shape. It might be a little bit bent. It's not perfectly straight, but, you know, it works in a pinch. And when I found this tool, or I got it, it was a hand-me-down from, uh, I think it came from my grandfather originally. Uh, it was in horrible condition. It was all rusted. And, you know, Brian, when I would go on to woodworker sites, they'd always show these nice tri-squares that were right, right. really perfect. And I thought, oh, I need to get one of those nice ones. And I thought, well, I had this old one. And, uh, I probably should get a new one. Well, then I thought, you know what? Maybe I can clean it or do something with it. So, Brian, I went into the kitchen yeah. and found some barkeeper's friend. This right. is used to, it's really nice to clean out stainless steel sinks right, and right, things right. like that. Pots and pans. Yeah, pots and pans. It's great. And, and I thought, you know, I'll try some of that. Now, I didn't realize it says right on it that it <laughs> removes rust. So that cleaned this up. It cleaned it up perfectly. There's a little more rust I see on it now. This has been four or five years ago, more than that, probably eight or nine years ago. So I'm going to maybe clean it some more, but it was right there, no problem. It took this tool, and this was nasty rusty. You couldn't read any of the numbers okay. on this rule. Well, I brought great. over a hammer that's got a little bit of rust and a pair of diagonal cutters that are almost frozen solid. Wow. Are there any other you know, products we can use besides if you don't yeah. have any of the bar keepers? I mean, right? sometimes if you've got a pair of pliers or something that are just stiff and maybe not rusted like that, a little bit of WD-40 hmm. in there and kind of work it in and that will uh, free that mechanism up and, and away you go. But an old I haven't used this stuff in years, but I picked some up before our show tonight. It's called Naval Jelly. Right. And this stuff, it used to come in a pink bottle, and the stuff is pink. I've got my rubber gloves on and eye protection okay. and all that, and I'm just going to use a little brush, and I'm going to just get this all down in there, and s we'll see what it does. It's very, um, very thick, so it'll kind of stick on okay. there. While you do that, I'm going to work on your, your old hammer here. Just work on one side, and let's right. compare right. the other side to the navel jelly. All right, Brian, so you can see I've, I've scrubbed this for a few minutes, and it's really cleaning this tool off, and it's similar to what I had on my uh, tri-square. It used to be all dirty like this side and rusted, and so I couldn't even read the numbers. But now you see, just it's for a few nice minutes, and shiny. it's getting shiny. And now I probably won't do this with a hammer. It's not, <laughs> right. you know, the rust isn't going to matter. It, but, it still works as a hammer. But if that was, a, you know, a tri-square right. or something where you have numbers on it or some other tool that you need to be able to, you know, have, have it be cleaned up, you can see that the bar, barkeeper's friend takes care of it pretty well. All right. Well, I have this uh, pair of diagonal cutters uh, thoroughly coated in the navel jelly. And uh, we'll let that cook a few more minutes on there. We can just do some navel gazing while we're waiting for that. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, we're going to rinse this off. All right, let's see how, see how we did. We might need another coat on there. A second application. <laughs> it's working, though. You can see a lot of the rust is removed. It's still dirty and black, but if you look closely, you can see a lot of the rust is gone, and it's starting to come off. So it's probably going to need a second or third application, and then it's going to need to be oiled up very well. Right. I'll use a little WD, and then it'll be good as new. So, you know, make sure you have some Barkeeper's Friend. It's great for the sink, great for the tools, and you can, you know, rejuvenate those old tools. Don't throw them away. Keep them, and you will have yourself a nice, shiny new tool. All right. Well, let me do my next coat on here. That's it for the Handy Guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks.